what all do I need? Dice, doggo, map,
hold it. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I don't
no, I was sitting here watching. I saw John was in there, and I was talking to Ashley before I hit join. Then I saw Greg pop in. Creeping, creeping, creeping. Yep. Pretty good. Not bad. I uh, I finished up putting uh, my models on bases for this this game Josh and I are gonna play, and I put Josh's models on bases and cleaned them up, and that was a fucking mistake because they were ten times worse than mine. Like I had to get out a fucking hobby drill, and that is that's not something I enjoy doing. Oh boy. Uh, but I'm glad I did them and didn't leave them for him because he'd have been like, Nah, I'm good. It was it was just a fucking mess. Oh, yeah, that's it. No, I told him I said if he buys me a buys me a uh, a package of magnets, I'll make him a box to keep them in, and uh, we'll call it even. So I think he's gonna do that. I'm adding another uh, another thing to the uh, miscellaneous sheet right now. Okay. Um. So, is it I our think, downtime? No, uh, it, we probably want one of those in the near future. Uh, I do want to craft some shit. Yeah, we need to. Uh... I'm adding a food. I added what's for dinner. Ah. Did you use what the fuck is for dinner dot com? No, I didn't. Ah, uh, it's like. There's what? I can just type D and it takes me right to the sheet. I like it. My fucking smoke alarm said, Heads up, there's smoke in the family room. An alarm will sound. You hear it yelling, emergency? What's in your pocket? What's for dinner? Damn, I don't have nearly that much rations. I'm deleting them out. That was, I just copied the... The loot table. Oh. Huh. And you got a day tracker. Yep. I'm gonna have to compare notes with Tusi because I wrote it down and then, uh, you know how that goes. I have a day tracker as well, and then I accidentally deleted it. Yeah. So we're all in the same boat. No, I don't have a day tracker. <laughs> Well, I fixed it, but I'm pretty sure it's wrong. Yeah, I think we're... Because we went several days last time. Yeah, six days or something to get to where we <laughs> Let's see what I have. I have 12. I, <clears throat> I think that's right, because I had six from the last time, and I'm pretty sure you guys went coast to coast. Yeah. Went one, I two... I did fix it, then. Three, yeah, one, two, three... Yeah, I think you guys went six days, and you're on your you're on your seventh. So I think total total you you're at thirteen days elapsed, and I think you are eight days since last town. Zero on your current trip, because current trip would be wherever you're traveling right now. If we like have to if we leave mid, and I guess we we're one week out camp or Maybe whatever. Uh, yep, put it on the thing, John. Uh, Just on the miscellaneous tab, somewhere. Cool down tracker. Honest. Yeah, I'd put it out to the right. Just somewhere out to the right of days elapsed. You can see it. Yeah. Onyx cool down. And how do you play this game without spreadsheets? I don't know. I, I really don't know. <laughs> A whiteboard. <laughs> It is. It's a whiteboard. Like, that is the answer. Yeah. Uh, honestly, if we were playing in person, I probably would have bought one of those, like, $200, uh, two or $300 DM screens with that have, like, the uh, the magnetic uh, plexiglass things where you just magnetize sheets under the plexiglass and then you scribble on them. Uh, oh, they're yeah. so cool. But I have no reason to have one because I don't play in person that much anymore. Sure. Sounds complex as fuck. Oh, they're cool, though. Um, Greg, you want to make a tab for downtime? Sure. 
leave that in your capable hands. I don't know what I'm doing in it, but I will make it. On the initiative tracker, I'm going to put... Uh, pull up some rules. Everyone likes some rules. <laughs> Standard watch order. Actually, if I put that there, is it going to... Okay, cool. It did what I wanted it to do. But I put the filters in the right place. Game uh, it's in play. Uh, it's in playing the game. Pretty sure. have a marching order yet? Like how you guys would normally typically lay out if possible? Imagine I'm up front. I can either stand up front with we'll you or out. we can have a triple line behind him. <laughs> oh, like the one and then three behind? Yeah. yeah. Just like a line. I'm also down to just two by two with you because I... Uh, Probably have the second highest AC. Oh, I think we're tied actually with uh, me and Lee. He is 19 as well, I believe. Yes. Dex people. Then there's 2C. Who can go back or what are those? I, mean, I probably should put that on. I tried to say words, it didn't really happen. That's fine. I saw that. I didn't realize Discord told me what you were playing. Yeah, you can't hide anything. You really can't. Not from no Discord. It'll get you. It's not gonna get old. It's, it can't. If it does, it's it's all over. I like how there's literally only one page on downtime. Yeah, but there's a lot of stuff you can do on it. Not really, unless you're respecking shit. Get better. That's true. Otherwise, That's the... it's pretty much crafting. <laughs> That's true. Or money. Unless you make some, you know, houses or property for us to own, in which case we would have more stuff. I have warfare. According to I this could, like, last entry about game mastering. I could like train some town guard. Though, uh, you know. That's that's really a a thing that's up to you guys. John said something really smart the other day, and I wonder if you remember saying it. Oh, that we need a bank. Are we gonna are we gonna be the bank? Let's open that shit. <laughs> this just sounds like the start of a uh a This is how the mob starts. Scheme, yeah. <laughs> like, By the way, <laughs> this is the fucking mob. So I know we're protecting the town and all, so we're just gonna watch all the money that comes in and out of town. Yeah, I think it, it definitely makes some sense. Who's got the highest charisma here? Somebody has to talk. 
<laughs> ah, shit, we forgot that stat. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You done messed up, eh, Ron? <clears throat> Probably Tuesday. Yeah, uh, uh, Sorcerer is very familiar. Uh, I'm pretty sure his charisma is dog shit. Oh. I don't know that. I didn't look. I could be honest with you. Sorcerers were charisma, but maybe not. Well, let's find out. Tusi is. Let's find out what his. For some reason, I don't have like a deception mod on. Him. Oh, it's because the check you always roll. Oh, that's true. You can just look at the checks. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing on there that's charisma, is there? Uh. Occultism's intelligence. Yeah. Yep. Society. Society mod. No, uh, society's Plus in. Because I have oh, it. Oh, is it? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Crafting is also in. Because I have it. You do yeah. live in a society. So. Lore is also in. Because I have it. <laughs> it's in. I probably have it. <laughs> Turns out when you have a shitload of it, you can take all the skills. I think I have like nine or something stupid like that. Yeah, because it's four plus your mod, isn't it? Yeah. And then you also get one from your background, and then you also get one from your ancestry or something, because you're human. I forget. I ended up with a lot. He knows things. Yeah, doesn't he? All right, there we go. There's a nice little spot for marching where when you, everybody gets here, you can stick it in. Oh, I'll stick it in. Will you now? Go ahead and put where I'm at. Right there. Front. <laughs> or I can That's see the <laughs> we just put me in the back from now on. Everybody else takes the first volley and you kind of open up and then you John yeah, runs I through. I just run, run by with my, <laughs> my dash in there. With that's that's John there. surrounded by Greg's. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I've yeah, seen this video. Good. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. It's so fast. <laughs> Too far, uh, too far, too far. Yeah. <laughs> pull up, pull up. Pull out, pull out. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. funny, right? it's gotta oh, tonight's going to be a good night, I can tell. <laughs> oh, I didn't get my beer. I got to get a beer. I, I can't play this without a beer. This is generally yeah. why I bought beer the last couple of weeks. <laughs> You're welcome. It's just like knowledge. <laughs> The reason. Um, <laughs> I mean, geez. the reason Greg drinks. I also got blasted last night, so I <laughs> probably shouldn't get blasted tonight. <laughs> You're not wrong. I literally don't really drink otherwise. Especially now. Yeah. I was proud of myself. I did the responsible day drinking thing yesterday where I got super drunk by like 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. when we were playing Bob. And stopped. And just stopped. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> nice. <laughs> The responsible day drinking thing, he says. Look, I still felt like shit that night, but I felt good today. So. Hey, then it all worked out. Yeah. Alright. Who keeps yeah. joining? Oh, there's TC. Yeah, I just, I accidentally joined on my uh, computer, and I don't want to do that. Computer uh -huh. quality way worse. Although today was a shitty internet day in general. Apparently there was major power outages throughout Boston, New York, and Washington, uh, and so my internet speeds went to like five megs per second. Uh, Ew. Up, up and down, and I'm on fiber, so I was just kind of like sitting there twiddling my dick in my hands uh, <laughs> for, for about like you know four hours a day. No, no. It's like fine. a great excuse to play in your D and D character instead of working. <laughs> I, I. Did very little work. I had to move around a couple of meetings, but I don't need to plan my character. My character plans itself. Maybe. Mm. Right. I'll buy that. Uh, oh. Oh. That was a good burp. Had some five guys <clears throat> for dinner. Oh yeah. Hello. Hello. There he is. Man, we've been Howdy. waiting on. For like 34 not, seconds, maybe. I was gonna say, not very <laughs> long. Uh, so, um, shitfire. Uh, what is it called? Roll 20? There it is. Oh, yeah. That's the one. I mean, are you really waiting on me if I'm already in roll 20? 
Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 was it, what was it last weekend? Uh, the, uh... Oh, the personal what accountability or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Personal yeah. accountability, boy. <laughs> oh, man. That's good. Where is my blue beam? What's going on here? It's bad. Tusi's using blue beam for Pathfinder, and this makes me really happy. <laughs> it's just my PDF editor, and I've got a bunch of PDFs that I pull up. Although it does not appear to be working, which is something. Before we get going, Lee, you didn't need any of that foam or anything, did you? Foam or anything? Yeah, the foam or that those weird bushes, like that, that were in a bag that I put in the Facebook group. I have no idea. Hold on. I'm getting rid of some foam. How about I say no? I, I don't know. You probably don't need it, but Eric said he kind of almost needs foam, and I know he won't ever come okay. need it, so. I do not need foam. Give it to Eric. Or sell it to Eric. Or... Well, I told him if he bought, if he came and got it and bought me a beer, he could have the foam. That's like, fair trade. Yeah, that's entirely yeah. fair. Like, I don't want it out of my house. Yeah, I want it out of my house. <laughs> I'm ready whenever you guys are. So we can uh, shoot the shit, or we can take off. I I gotta I gotta remember where we are. I think I did some <clears> notes <throat> about where we are. Right, right, right. That's, uh, where we stopped at the goblin encounter yeah. next morning after being ambushed by wolves. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah Greg was sleeping very well. Right. Uh, yep, he was super yeah. asleep. <laughs> Until he wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, until he wasn't. Until he got woke the fuck up. Yeah. Um, Seen that one before, too. <laughs> Alright, so, all right, where were we? Uh, so we are in, so on the map, just make sure we're in, I'm in the right spot. We're on, the map. we are currently in whatever this place is. Uh... M23 or whatever? Yes. Okay. So we're in M23. How's everybody doing health-wise? I'm healed, and then I get my sp spells back at the beginning of the day. Is that right, Jared? That is correct. Okay, so I'm, I'm spelled up. Yeah, I'm good. I'm full health. I uh, yeah, and I'm pretty I sure. At this 30 of 34. Yeah. I, I think I'm full health. Probably. I'm showing I'm at 20. 26 of 28, Greg. I'm at 24 of 26, so. So you guys are lightly, lightly grazed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not worried about uh, that. And I added some stuff to the, uh, I added some stuff to the uh, Google Sheet. There is now a tab for food. Oh, nice. And there's now a tab for days elapsed, and John added the Onyx cooldown. And then Greg started a downtime sheet. And then I've also, on the PC stats page, I put your normal watch order in so I can get rid of the sticky note that has it on there. Uh, and I added a marching order section for, you know, reasons. Would you look at that? It, it's really coming together like we know how to play D&D, &D, guys. <laughs> starting to, anyways. When you guys All figure right, so out what, what do, you want to do, I, let me know. What do I got to fill out? Okay, that's that's food that we uh, that we have. Uh, okay, so I've got my. That's like days work rations. Ration. Yeah. 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 This is stuff that we've gathered. Cool. Well, all right. So the question, I guess, is: Do we really want to go back to town, or are we just so? Do we explore? Um, kind of head east and try, start trying to find the big old goblin encampment or what we presume is the big old goblin encampment 
Well, I'm down to scout it, but I do think we should probably go back to town before we take it. Yeah, unless it's super weak. I think we'll run out of food before then. Yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's a good point. We should probably just head back. Yeah. Do we want to head back a different route or go the same route that we're used to going? I guess we could go back a different way, like something that we have. <laughs> like we could go to Look, like I'm just trying to. L22 oh. and then. Yeah. Can I do that? Yeah, we could. Do, uh, we could scout LK, uh, L22, and then K21 uh, and, and 23, yeah. just on our way back in. Yeah, I think so. That way we kind of figure out what's what there. Yeah, I'm down for that. Alright, let's move. What do we got to do, Jared? Alright, so exploration action. Uh, you've got your little thing I sent out to you. You have exploration actions. You should have one point to use in a day at this point if i'm correct which honestly i have no idea i got it tabbed let's find out so you guys are all 15 to 25 feet movement is that right mm -hmm. yep yeah i think so it says you don't you get one activity per day and I think that's horseshit. We're going to say you get two activities per day. Because there's no reason you shouldn't be able to move across the 12, uh, a 12 mile across hex. And, and, and like, scout it. Right. There's no reason. Okay. So, you can have two travel activities. And your activities can consist of travel, reconnoiter, uh, which is, you know, search for stuff, spending time surveying, exploring the land, looking yep. for unusual features or specific sites uh you can individual activities that you don't have to be done as a group you can fortify camp you can map the area uh and you can also use any uh so you can also use subsist the downtime activity uh but you're using it after eight hours or less of exploration so okay so if you're like trying to basically you're trying to forage you can you can do short days of exploration and then you can subsist if you run out of food. Yeah, how are we all doing on food? I've got six days worth of rations. Uh, I've got five days. Yeah, I also have five. Which is now on the miscellaneous tab. Uh, I, is, all that, is all that trail rations? All right. I think Put um, it on it's just, perishable. It's just it's just rations. Yeah. Yeah, if it's. Go ahead and anything that's like a trail ration, an individually packed ration pack, put it in non-perishables. I want to use perishables for like if you find like if you hunt rabbit in the wild or something that you can't just like keep it forever. Oh. You have to actually eat it. It's like my four and what are you talking about? What I got last time, <laughs> like where I found yeah. rabbit stuff. Yeah. Yep. Rabbit. Rabbit. Because I think right, Lee, well, uh, I think Lee shot some rabbits, didn't he? He did. Yeah, he got yeah I think I gave one to everybody, right? But we had to eat. Yeah, right yeah there. we had to eat. So. Yep, yeah. that was your that was your basically your your dinner. So yeah. you guys are good. Yeah. I didn't you make can use this activity to act, to create an accurate map of the hex with successful survival check. Typically, a trained or an expert. Uh, I don't think I have survival, so I really can't map anything. Yeah. Yeah. Think All I right. Well, do we just want to reconnoiter each of these? So we move and then reconnoiter? I think so. So as, if you're moving to the if you are moving to the northwest, you will uh, as you're moving to the northwest, you see that it's uh, it's still plains. So your your travel is pretty easy. So you're only going to take one action to move northwest. Okay. And then if you want to reconnoiter, uh, you're looking for you're looking for just. Uh, anything out of the ordinary uh, so far what you can see as you reconnoiter is that the uh, the to your east and northeast are forest and then the plains extend out in all other directions uh, and it's it's pretty well open there it's kind of the same uh, same sort of tall grass that you saw out in k19 uh, it doesn't look like it's nearly as well kept as m23 was where the goblins had been traipsing around and and you know maybe cutting grass and stuff But you don't see any other uh, 
you don't see any other things that stick out to you. Well, do we want to go east or do we want to go northeast? Sorry, we didn't have to roll a check for that or anything. Nope. Because I rolled an nope. 18, and, and I wasted it's, a good 18 then. That's just what you know. All right. Um, if you were looking for something specific, you could roll it. Or if there was something maybe specific to find, that might have you take a perception. Okay. Party yeah. record order. Wasn't looking for anything in particular. All right. Well, nope. uh, I mean, so to I, the, I, I like I said, to the northwest, you see, uh, it, to the northwest, you see more plains. To the northeast, you see more forest. Yeah. Um, I, say, I say we go to will the. Forest take two to travel through, and plains will take one. So we can try to go through the forest and try to hunt something on the way through, or we can just try to get back as soon as possible. I was just more curious to map the, to get a good idea of what the area looks like. Right. Um, what kind of terrain we're dealing with, if we see anything that's wild in there. Yeah, I mean, if we want um, to get through quick, we just take the planes back on K-23 or whatever. Yeah, K I'm fine. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we heard wolves there, by the way. We like those. Good, we gotta we gotta fuck some more wolves up. Yeah. Payback for what they did to Greg. True. Yep. Uh, so yeah. as you as you travel ac or across this point, uh, this one, um, go ahead and throw me some perceptions and put them in the uh, put them in that first page just for your nightly watch. Since you've done your two activities, I'm assuming you're gonna find a good spot to camp down. Jackpot. Uh, remember my perception check. All right. Boom. Suck it, nerds. Good thing you were up first when the sun's barely down. <laughs> Don't you steal my thunder. How many uh, How many checks do we need to do? Just one? Uh, just the one. Yeah. I I'm just going to do one one check for the average of your, like, whatever uh, that okay. comes out to. Two and a half hour watch session. Okay. Uh, 17. Not bad, team. Okay. That was pretty. That was pretty good on the whole. You guys are all good. Subtract your rations for another day of travel. Yeah, buddy. Someone. Maybe I ought to put the rations on the front, and so that we can do all that's on the front and not have to flip between sheets. Yeah. Yep. That fix it. Sense. Yeah. Do it. Do it first, and then I'll move it. Right. So everybody, do your subtract your foods. Can someone subtract mine? Um, yeah. Because. Just I'm leave just that in Okay. Okay. All right. So we camped in. Uh, we camped in L, or did we camp in K? Uh, you camped in L twenty two. Uh, twenty two. Yeah. Okay. So then we'll move on to K twenty. Well, I guess we should probably just go through the plains. Uh, yeah. Because that's yeah. gonna be cheaper. So K K twenty or twenty one. Was it? Yep. Twenty one. Yeah. K twenty one. Yeah. So yeah, we'll head head over there, go through the plains and high grass, uh, and just try to hoof it hoof it back. Okay. So yeah, as you you move through K twenty one, and you're you're approaching as you approach uh, Shadows Fall, uh, you see a you see a, t uh, a tilled field and what looks like a barn and farmhouse uh, on the horizon, uh, toward the okay. northeastern end of of the hex. So not far out of town, kind of just off the, uh, presumably just off that. That's why there was a road uh, to the west was so that it could, you know, uh, it was a good path to the farm. Uh, what what could you describe that again? It was like a small farmhouse with. What? Yeah, there's a, like a farmhouse and a barn, and then there's a, a, quite a bit of tilled field, uh, and then some pasture area as well. Okay. Chair was very squeaky. Um, I guess should we go towards it and see what's going on over there? Yeah, why not? Alright. Let's wander in. Shit, I threw my book down. Alright. So you um as you approach the farmhouse you see uh you see a man, uh a beleaguered looking uh half elf. Uh, tending, uh, tending to a small a small herd of sheep in the pasture. Uh, he sees you coming in waves, 
he waves you down. He said, he says, you must be the adventurers, Bannon. You must be the adventurers, Bannon said he was sending me. He says, better late than never. He said, but you took your damn time. Um, all right. So I'm going to attempt to deceive him in to thinking that we are definitely the people that he is talking about, despite the fact that we have no idea what he's talking about. So I'm going to use a diplomacy check to try to uh, convince him that, yes, we are these people. Okay. Oh, damn. All right. That's a 16 plus 8, so 24. He's he is kinda... convinced you are the adventurers he is talking about. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to stroll in and, and be like, so could you just refresh our memory? It's been a long, it's been a long trip. We, we, we went around in a few circles uh, before, before getting here. He said, well, Bannon, Bannon told me you were, you guys were out dealing with goblins and it may be a few extra days. Uh, but, uh, but my sheep have been disappearing more, uh, more every few nights. Uh, at first it was just one or two, but now I've lost about a third of the herd or a third of the flock. Um, if we keep losing sheep, we're not going to have enough wool for, uh, for winter clothes for the whole village. <clears throat> Where where are your sheep now? Can you show us where the uh, where you're keeping them? He just kind of spreads his arm and you know it's just a, a, this is all I have left. Oh. All right, I'm gonna so no 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 fences or anything like that. Are you sure they're not just wandering off? He said, "Well, judging by the blood trails and the uh, the howling and and uh, bleeding of injured sheep." I would say not. See, you gotta lead with that, yeah, man. Yeah, You're just fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the sheep are disappearing. Uh, oh, I don't know what it could be. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt, I'm gonna attempt to mock him, because uh, that feels mocking worthy. I'm gonna intimidate him to feeling, feeling belittled. Uh, oh, I rolled a, th I got a thirteen. Okay, hold on. He crosses his arms. He's not impressed. He says, all, all these adventures are the same. Always try to look down on the little guy. He says, without, <laughs> without us farmers, without us farmers, he runs right over you. He said, there'd be no coin, no clothes, magic items. What good are they going to do you if you can't dress yourself in the morning? Well, you, you, you got that right. But, uh... Yeah, so I guess I'm gonna let's try to investigate this trail of blood stuff. Um, he says, "Yeah, you can't miss it." He says, "Well, maybe you can if you're if the the rest of your ineptitudes are anything to go by." So he wanders. Uh, he he says, "I'll take you there," and he he walks off. Uh, he walks off to the southeast. Uh, it's about a hundred yards, hundred yards or so. He stops and he points you to a, just a what looks like a an area just it's a bloody mess uh you can see that there was definitely something that was attacked uh and there was a there was a scrabble of uh, some sort of a scramble and then there's a blood trail uh going off toward the east did i lose everybody no no, no, no you're good you're good, okay, you're cool. good. I'm just thinking quiet of typing this. and thinking got it yeah, yeah. Oh, head, well, everything heads heads east into the forest. Yeah. It's probably more of those fucking wolves. Um, it's about to be nighttime. Do we want to just try to set up a trap here and see if we can catch some wolves in, in the act? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, we've got enough rations and other stuff. We're not really starved, and you know, one, yeah. what's the goblin menace isn't like an immediate thing. We've already cleared out all the encampments, so, right, so. might as well try to fucking see if we can kill a wolf or two. Revenge for for what's her name? Millie, Ellie. Ellie. Yeah. yeah Ellie. Reven revenge for Ellie. That's what we're here for. It's like vengeance for Soldier, uh, only better. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Same shit, different name. <laughs> it's for pretty so much. Good. Uh, Thorgul, do you know anything about setting traps? Uh, I'm not really 
a trap set in Ranger. Um, well, I mean, <laughs> don't worry. I have... He's a rock. He's a rock eating, goblin shooting <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a turret. I, I do have. I mean, I have pretty high survival. Um, but I'm. But not not like. All right, that's fine. <laughs> we'll figure this out. I mean, I've I've got snare crafting, but I don't know if that's really teaching you how to also set them. No, I think I think we can. Yeah, we we don't necessarily have to set like an actual trap. We can just. Uh, is there? Where's the river? Well, that's, we're too far away from that. Is there any way well, we can decide, disguise our scent and hide amongst the sheep? Uh, hey, I'm going to ask the guy, does he have any fantastic. sheep skins? <laughs> does, does he have any sheep skins <laughs> lying around? As it turns out, he does, but he looks at you funny. He says, what, what are you going to use sheep skins for? Well, I'm just going to get him. Well, you know, I get kind of cold at night. Wink, wink. Stranger and stranger, and Heath and Bannon thought these people could help. He so, says, help, uh, your, help yourself to whatever's in the barn. Uh, he says, I'm going to go sleep in my own bed so I don't get mauled by whatever's stealing my sheep. Oh man, I hope it's not. I hope it's not wolves. Uh, so I, I'm going to volunteer to wear the sheep skin okay. um, and, 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 and lay with the sheep. Uh, I guess the question is, how do I disguise my scent? <laughs> Uh, do we have any ideas wait, there? How many, how many sheepskin do we have here? Because I feel like I that's should be point. in there with them too. Like, yeah, uh, that's there's, super a, there's a stack of about there's a stack of about six skins. Yeah, I bet All I right. can look like a sheep. <laughs> and you could probably you could probably cobble two skins together into a nice like nice cloak if you uh you spend an hour or two and give me a just a basic uh fuck I don't care give me a basic check that you. have feel is right for sewing some sheepskins up into a cloak. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah it would. Just check. a generic crafting check. Because unless you guys have a uh, unless you guys have a relevant crafting skill. I have pretty high Negative. crafting. I'll try to make one for him. Here. <laughs> Please do. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. My uh, no, I fucked it up. I got a one. <laughs> oh, oh boy. no, he ruined some of the skins. Let me go, let me go, let me go. So, so Lee's over here. I'll show you how to make a cloak. <laughs> turns out, turns out Lee made a, uh, un, uh, like a little uh, ascot. <laughs> and a bunch of just st sheepskin strips. Kind of tied it all together. It's I got a nice sheepskin ascot. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Keep my neck warm. <laughs> you I guys get your. Try and make one. All right. So that's a. Uh, Two of the skins are completely wasted. Oh, God. All right, we've got two left. I'm going to try as well. You got four left. Crafting? crafting, right? <laughs> yeah, just take a generic crafting for it. It's I got simple. 23. Oh, shit. Or, I got no. 18. So you guys both managed to craft a uh, suitable sh sheep disguise cloak. So you guys have you've made two sheep disguises with the six skins available and a nice ascot. All right, so that definitely means that two people got to get in there and get close, uh, stay with the sheep, and then the other two people got to be hiding from from a distance. So we're gonna kind of kind of try to survey the land, see if like how how we can how we can make this work, uh, where we can get people to hide, uh, namely the turret. What what do you, what do we need to do that? Uh, let's do. Or... Yeah, let's uh, take a uh, survival. Uh oh, survival. Right, I'm gonna survival. Yeah, general general woodcraft type stuff. I got a nineteen. Not going, I'm not going to survival. Okay. So Lee's pretty sure that the sheep. Uh, there's a nice like little little fence around the barn where the sheep likely. Or uh, you know, hemmed in at night, still in the in, a, in the pasture area, but it's it's not, it doesn't look very strong. Um, could easily be circumvented by a uh, by a predator that's hungry. 
Um, and you also notice that uh, instead of the sheep being like downed and, and like eaten in place inside the pen, it's being dragged off. Uh, the sheep are the sheep are definitely being dragged off, kicking and kicking and bleeding and until they die. Uh, and then you can see a pretty clear drag trail to the east. Uh, checks out. Um, and then you've also ascertained that uh, Lee, you could probably you could probably overlook most of the pasture from on top of the barn. Yeah, how far how far away is he within range? Of, is the barn within? Yeah, a shooting it's like range? a it's like a 60, 60 by sixty pasture. It's not a huge pasture. Okay, so you can you can hit him. Yeah. Okay, so I'm climbing on the roof. What do I need to do? Um, just give me a athletics check. Mm. Uh, I'll, assist. I'll try to I'll try to lift him up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm real short. I mean, I was going to say with advantage because you found a ladder in the hayloft. Okay. But you can try to lift him if you want. So advantage, I roll two, right? And pick the yeah, just take it. Right, yep. So. Whoops. Uh, fifteen. All right, you managed to set the ladder, no problem. Get up to the roof and get yourself... You, you feel pretty stable. It's, it's not a steep roof. All right. Nice, all right. Cool, cool. Good, good. We're doing things. We're doing stuff. Um, I guess... All right, well... Yeah, where do you want... I imagine we want me in the pen somewhere. Am I going to be wearing one of these cloaks, or... You yeah, guys... you need to. Okay. Uh, I'm down for the other one. Yeah, I mean, you can do it. I can do it. I, if you want wolf revenge, I'm down to let you take it. I mean, I'm. I have a melee weapon, and I'm high AC relatively. Oh, that's fair. You do have. You do have higher AC than I do. I just want to burning hand some wolves. So. That's, that's true. You do have close range spells. Uh, it don't. might make might make more sense for you to do it though. I'll probably fall asleep or something. So, uh, <laughs> I guess I can be. I'll try to be in the barn. Um, yeah, I think that makes the most sense. Okay. So you guys have a general plan? Any other details you want to flesh out before you attempt this uh, tomfoolery? Well, I'll, uh, I'll sure we, probably should just, <laughs> we probably should try to stay awake for as long as possible. So anybody got anything to uh, keep you up? Uh, can, or can we can we can we nap now? Uh, what time? Like what what t time of day is it? Um, by the time you get the things sewed and everything, it's it's probably sun's starting to go down. It's early evening. You could right. probably take a quick nap. Like a short rest. Allegedly. Or yeah, short rest. You that could probably take enough of a rest that you won't fall asleep uh, at night. Yeah, we probably ought to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably feasible. Uh, ooh, hello. Hi. That's how I feel about that situation. I guess we'd do that. Um, yeah, I, I think so. Okay. <clears throat> well, time passes. Um, time passes, and uh, you hear some wolves howling in the distance. Uh, what are presumably wolves? You hear howls in the distance. Uh, and, you know, you, you start, you guys start to perk up and, and you yell at the others to get in a position with the sheep. Lee's <laughs> top scouting. I like to uh, have, have my bow at the ready. Bow at the ready. Roger that. How many sheep Turret and wolves, if there are. Uh, there's probably, <clears throat> I think he's, he's got probably about 26 sheep left. And uh, it, like. it may or may not surprise you, but I do not have the barn and the in the uh, sheep pen drawn up as an encounter map. <laughs> Though, just for the record, there is a whole section in my notes for this, because I said those sons of bitches are going to do it. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, <clears throat> felt like the right thing to do at the time. Yeah, you know, with the information provided. So. We're going to okay. narrative this one out, and if we need to move some stuff around uh, on a board to get uh, to get a picture of it, we're just going to use the board that you're already on okay. and ignore okay. all the shit. 
Actually, how far, how far is this? Look at that. There's a sheep pen, boys and girls. Oh. <laughs> yeah? Yep. yep. That's a sheep pen. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Lord. Put yourselves in place. Uh, Lee, you are up here somewhere on to the north of this. Uh, up on here? the barn roof. Yep, somewhere okay. in this general vicinity. So this, like, the walls are, like, the pasture area. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to draw on this because, look, we have a tool that we can do that. All right, let me draw some polygons really fast. Polygon. <clears throat> Oh, you're gone. Wow. Oh, yeah. You know what I like. Am I not drawing on the right? Okay, now I want to draw on the background layer. Draw a shape. Still not seeing anything. You're okay. You're going to see it shortly. Oh, okay. I don't, I'm not sure. How is that? You see a red square? Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. All right, that's the bar. That, that's the, the bar. Uh, the spike pit that you see there is uh, the barn door. Mm -hmm. All right. And the sheep are out there in the pasture. Uh, the rest of this is just open area for the most part. The farmhouse is up over here someplace. Give or take. Okay. Um, and we will go from there. So where are the sheep now? Uh, so there's about 26 sheep milling around yeah, in there. There's 26 sheep in there? Yeah, they, you can get two or three sheep in a five-foot <laughs> okay. square. Okay, all right. I mean, there's no tokens, so it's kind of hard to you know visualize. <laughs> You're going to make them put tokens on. <laughs> What is that? that? Oh, there's sheep. A sheep. Oh, there's Roll in. <laughs> <laughs> you ask and I deliver. <laughs> oh, those are. I'll tell you what, though. Those sheep, there's not multiples to a, to a square, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that sheep represents uh, five sheep. <laughs> okay. It's representative right. sheep. I can't get Shut it to up. scale down. What the fuck? A swarm of sheep. Shut up before you fall off the barn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, be quiet. Don't overplay that hand. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, this yeah. is how you, you trip looking for sheep. Yeah. Oh, look at that, yeah, son yeah. of a bitch. That's a fucking sheep if I ever seen one. Yeah, perfect. And this is why I picked this tool, guys, right here. Because could you imagine trying to do this in... Uh, TTS, yeah. TTS. Oh, yeah. yeah. It'd be a, a no, bit of a nightmare. The same? Okay. Fucking sheep. Fucking sheep. <laughs> sheep for days. <laughs> sheep, 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 sheep. Perfect. Fucking bed and down. And it'll only let me put them in those because they're tokens for whatever reason and not drawing. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are two sheep per token. Okay. Which All will right. be, as it turns out, 26 sheep. All right. Wow. Crushed it. I think there's there might be oh, fucking more than that. All right, look, that's approximately the sheep. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> didn't expect me to whip sheep out of my ass, did you? I, I didn't, but I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna work it now. Yeah. I'm just, so I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be. be I'm going to be uh, kind of right, um, like a little bit inside the door, but far enough away where you can't hear me. Uh, and I'm just going <laughs> to, what, is there, is there anything in here that smells? I just want to be sent by something that doesn't smell like a human. I mean, you don't smell like a human. Yeah, that's a good point. I am a cat. Uh, they might not know that what my scent is. Uh, whatever. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, uh, it's kind of not lay down but sit up uh, and crouch myself in a crouching in a comfortable position uh, near All the right. front of the door he's being cat like nailed it I am being All cat like right. Lee would you like to move a little closer to the edge of the thing so you can uh, see down a little better um I guess yeah I can move over about there yeah that's great 
All right, John, Ellie, tell me where you're milling around with these sheep. Are you snoodling with any of them? What's going on? I'm gonna go ahead and canoodle with these I'll three. Can I'll canoodle with this big. I'll be right in this mix up. You know, kind of in going. between these all all these guys on the eastern, since we know they're they're typically getting drug out to the east. It's canoodling with sheep. Got it. <clears throat> Bar ram and you. That's true. If they're going to the east. <laughs> let's go here. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I don't know why I'm having such a good time with this, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys, uh, you guys n nuzzle up with some sheep, and you're you're feeling like they've accepted you as one of their own, which isn't hard for sheep. Um, but you know, you hear the howls get quiet, uh, and as they as they get quiet, uh, go ahead and take perception checks. Throw them in the uh, you just throw them in the watch order. I deleted the old ones. Uh oh. I got a five. Who is not very precise or perceptive? The guy in the barn. You got a five. <laughs> You're up in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, Lee perceived the flying fuck out of some wolves. <laughs> the bad news is he can't really alert us in any way, shape, or form, so uh, I don't perceive the fuck out of some wolves. That wolf looks awful fat. Oh, like that looks like a rat. <laughs> that's, a, that's a chunky wolf. That's that's a chunky he's chunky. Wolf. Chunky boy. They look like, uh, what are those uh, dogs that uh, Mario is yep. based off of? Like the raccoon yep. dogs or whatever? <clears throat> yep, I know what you're talking about. Oh, the uh, starts with a T. Yep, that's what it is. Tanuki. Or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wow. I, I sure. Yeah. <laughs> that one coming. So. Uh, no, I did not. So uh, everybody is everybody's just doing their thing. Uh, Lee, as you see them cuddling up with these wolves, uh, you notice the. Actually, John, John, and Greg, you see a wolf uh, jump over the gate here, um, and you do not see the other four. Lee, you've seen all five of the wolves uh, that are approaching. Uh, one is brazenly jumped over the gate, and the others are lurking to the east, uh, as if to see if anything happens when the first one jumps over. Uh, go ahead and just uh, take those perception checks and throw them in the initiative tracker, and then we'll go from there. Oh, that's what we got before. Okay. Yep. I just want to make sure you saw him. Ah, one step ahead. Boom. Okay. W1. W2. W3. Four, W five, and this dude, oh W one, got a, uh, he got a four, seventeen, I got a four, nineteen, uh, -oh. uh fourteen. John, we about to get mauled by some wolves. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> All right, Lee, you're up. Oh, okay. So I'm going to uh, draw my bow. What are you? Are you gonna? Are you gonna fire at him right away? Because if you hit them, then they're about to get mauled. Do we can tr they can try to wait till everybody gets closer? Uh, how you want to play it? 
rain hell on those bastards? Uh, well, man, I could start shooting them now and maybe kill one before it gets to them. Or do we think yeah. they're going to scatter and we'll, we won't be able to take care of them? I have no idea. That wolves. wolves probably scatter, I would be my guess, right? So I don't know. Guys can, can, you, can, you, can you give it a... What is it? Uh, would it be like... Yeah, yeah I, like recall, recall knowledge. But that's probably an action, and you probably need all your actions to yeah. actually shoot stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, boss. Yeah, yeah, to, to hit stuff and be effective, I need to use all my actions. All right. Um, I could delay. I say fuck these wolves up. I don't know, personally. Okay. Because I mean. I mean I... They're John's coming... feeling particularly vulnerable. Well, well, you know, if they run off, they're coming from the east. We just go to the east and clean them up. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Well, the uh, I'll shoot at the one in the back. So I'll draw my bow with my first action. Uh, my second action will be to hunt the one in the back. And then my third action will be to shoot him twice. So uh, I guess... Well, you've got another action. You said you had your bow at the ready. Oh, okay. All right. Um... <clears throat> We'll see how this goes. So uh, there's a 24 on the first shot and a 15 on the second shot. Both will hit. Both hit. Okay. So where did... All right. Um, seven plus eight. So 15 damage. Okay. Light them up. That wolf, uh, that wolf has taken two arrows. It, it whimpers, uh, it whimpers and jerks, uh, looking around to see if it can see where the, where the shots are coming from. Got anything else, Lee? Um, I, I guess I'll take my last shot into it. It's not going to be a very good one, but, um. So here we go, last shot into it. Whoops. That was off the table. Uh, Yeah, not great. 13. Not quite. All right. That's all I got. All right. Uh, so the wolves, seeing uh, the two closest here, uh, see that something's happened. This one proceeds on and jumps across the fence uh, to try to grab a sheep, uh, and it, it notices that something's something's not right about one of these sheep. Uh, and it snarls and, and goes after John. Uh, That's something's not right with one of these. This sheep. one's gonna follow. This one's gonna follow up, and then this one's going to bolt. Back into here, yonder. I wonder if there was a reason why that sheep was bigger. <laughs> it was a hefty one. He's gonna go to there. Uh, what is it? Uh, and you lose sight of that wolf. So you've lost sight of a wolf here. I'm just gonna put a little thing on the bottom row. Yeah, there's a little ninja thing. Look at that. Uh, these other two are both gonna try to chomp into the one's gonna chomp into the large, uh, the large gangly sheep, and the other one's gonna chomp into the sheep to the one of the sheep you're laying with. Uh, John, you will take. Uh, five damage, and it puts you on your butt. Okay. Uh, and you see. The other wolf uh, grab into the sheep, the, the sh one of the sheep next to you, and just jerk it around savagely, uh, oh, as if trying to no. trying to break its neck. <laughs> no. Uh, and the sheep, uh, the sheep is clearly dead at this point. It's just twitching and jerking. I mean, he really got it. Uh, and what then was the, you what see was him. The sheep's name? Dolly. Not Dolly. No, Anyone but thing. Dolly. <laughs> so, and he he starts to he starts to drag it away. Um, that will be to you, John. All right, uh, I'm going to uh, stand up. Uh, 
Tiger Stance. And Flurry of Blitz, this wolf. Yep, now he's blowing wolves. Got it. Yep. So, first one is a 11. Feels bad. Mm -hmm. Second hit is a 21. Feels better. better. All right. It feels a lot better, especially on a second. And then uh, <clears throat> I'll do the damage, and he has to be a 18 DC Fortitude save, or he is stunned one. Yeah. Uh, he does not save. Okay, uh, so he's stunned one, and he takes uh, nine slashing damage. Let me find a suitable little marker for stun. Or like a light. Eeny, meeny, miny. How about the stopwatch? Yeah. Yeah, that. That's How much did you say he took? Uh, nine slashing damage. Roger, Dodger. Okay. Uh, the wolf that got shot with an arrow uh, is going to uh, thinking he thinking he sees something uh, something that may have hurt him. Uh, he's going to charge forward and uh, attempt to attempt to enact some vengeance. Uh, John, you will take can't see this die it's too dark in here or i'm getting old one of the two what's your ac john 20 Ooh. so that 20 saved you from some damage okay but you still take a little bit uh you're going to take six and he puts you on your butt again so these wolves john just you know they knock him down he hops up he punches one another one knocks him down he's really getting the run around here uh, Greg, that'll be to you. Okie dokie. Um, I will. Uh, am I am I like laying down? I'm assuming. No, you're like you're like hands and knees. I'll I'll let you come up as part of a move. Uh, you're like bond and shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'm even gonna move. Ah. I'm gonna just, uh, chuck a bomb. Ah. Chuck a bomb ah. over at the the wolf carrying the sheep. Okay. What kind of bomb is it? Well, we're gonna use the frost one. Okay. Because I probably will set the fence on fire otherwise. And the sheep and the wolf. And the sheep <laughs> and all the other shit. Yeah, and also, it lowers their speed, so it'll be harder for them to run away. Oh, so I think oh, that would be great. pretty pretty legit. Um, He's a real I'll thinker. Go ahead and get an attack roll for that. Solid critical miss. All oh, sad. Um, oh, let's just let's just. Let's go and throw, throw a second one. You want to throw a hero point? Uh, yeah. Mark yeah. off one of your hero points. Yeah, we can do that. That's something I'd probably like to see on this thing if I don't have it. Is that just a roll. straight reroll? Yeah, you just get to reroll anything. Okay. That's a little better. Uh, that'll be 22. This is in a weird spot, and I don't like it, but haven't put your hero points in by your watch order. I don't really love where I stuck that, but I love it. 22 will hit, Greg. Uh, so I have one left. And 22, D6, damage. Solid one. Damn, I'm good at this game. Hot. Um, so two, two to the, <clears throat> the one that's carrying the sheep, and then one to the one that John stunned for the splash. Uh, Roger. Okay. And because uh, of damage sucks, I will just throw the second one. <laughs> are they slowed or anything, or no? Yeah, it's slowed. Uh, let me get the... It's just a five-foot penalty to speed. I, I, it yep. doesn't say, like, slowed or anything. Okay, yeah, it's it's fine. It's like a five-foot penalty for speed to speed for, like, a turn. Yeah, second That's one nice. is 16. Uh, that will also hit. Sweet. D6. Okay, so four and one. What was that noise? That's the roll in roll 20. Because uh -oh. I can't find my... Well, I guess I can find a D6, but I don't have any other Ds. So. 
What about D's nuts? <laughs> Damn it. Okay. <laughs> ah, come on. That was too easy. <laughs> that one was pretty easy. All right. We will go to uh, Tusi. All right. So, obviously, recognizing that there was commotion, I'm going to kind of sprint out. So, 5, 10, 15. Uh, well, that was 20. All right, so trying to survey the situation here quickly. Um, how easily can I tell apart John and Greg from these sheep? <laughs> oh, well, you can tell Greg pretty easy because he's standing up throwing bombs, but John, on the other hand, is knocked on the ground in the middle of this swarm of sheep and wolves. What so, do I need to? What do I need to really give here? Uh, do you need a perception, or uh, what's what's the deal? Uh, for what are you trying to do? Just to, so that I can like my my first, I, I just if I can quickly identify which person is the sheep. I mean, what are you trying to do to the person you're identifying? Is my question. Um, rec just recognize them so I don't like throw fire at them on accident or intentionally. I are you mean, trying my... to throw it at sheep? No, or like uh. I would can, burning hands can, potentially. Well, though, actually, no, I'm not in the range of any wolves, so there's no point in me doing that. Yeah, I mean, you can you can pretty well tell the wolves they're quite a bit bigger, and like I said, John's on his butt rolling around a sheepskin, so he yeah. kind of looks like the sheep that are starting to realize what's going on and panic. Uh, but the wolves you can tell apart pretty easily. Yeah, so I'm just gonna keep running forward. Five, okay. ten, fifteen, twenty. 25 and the wolf that is now closest now now that when i'm up this close i can tell that one of these is not a wolf uh one of these is not a sheep uh, uh you're within so. 15 feet you can clearly see john kicking kicking and tigering yeah so to, i see him, I see him engaged, engaged by two of them so i'm just gonna throw um whatever this is called use elemental toss uh on the one that is closest to me um, so I don't really know what number that is, but he's the chonky one. Looks like yep, he's got, got a slowed thing on his stunned on him. Yep. Um, so, all right, elemental toss. Ah, oh, shit. Where is that? Give me one second. I didn't, I didn't copy those notes over quite yet. That oh, cheat sheet. It's an attack roll, so I'm just going to go ahead and take the roll. <coughs> oh, all right, uh, 25. How does that do? That'll hit. Uh, that'll be a crit, right. actually. Okay, cool. So he is going to take uh, a bunch of damage. So first, it's 1d8 is normal damage. Um, plus I get uh, all spells do one plus one damage times my spell level, which in this case is spell level one. So they do plus one and then they do plus one more because it's my blood magic spell. So it's plus two. So we've got 1d8, which is five plus two is seven. So 14 fire damage. Okay, so that's you immolate that wolf. That's, uh, so that basically uh, that wolf is reeling. It's kind of got a rhyme of frost on its legs. It, it, it's kind of reeling from the punch John gave it right in the nose. Uh, and you hit it, and it just it's too much for him. He just collapses. On another note, I think it's time to retire this purple dice because I've rolled it seven times today and have gotten four 18s. So <laughs> Good, My, goodbye, yeah. sweet. Goodbye, sweet prince. We will try another one. <laughs> I thought maybe when I was three for three, uh, or three for six, that I was like, hey, maybe I'm just a little lucky. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and try another one so for now. Seeing, another, seeing a sheep stand up, this wolf runs in uh, and goes after uh, the bomb tosser. Not to be confused with the frozen one. Uh, so we've got one hit, one miss. Actually, Greg, what is your AC? Uh, 19. 19. Okay, so it's just a hit. Uh, Greg, you're going to take three damage, and it's going to put you on your butt. Oh. Uh, back to the top. Lee. All right. I am going to change uh, my hunted target okay. to the one that's carrying a dead sheep. <clears throat> you got over okay. the wall. Uh, then I'm going to take my two shots at it. So... Got it. 
Ooh, that's bad. Uh, I got a 13 and a 12. Uh, no dice. Okay. Uh, I'll take that last shot. Uh, another 12. So. Nope. Sad. All right. Um, Rip. That's it for me. Ripperonies. Mm-hmm. Ripperoni indeed. Sad. That's all I got. So you're on the wolves now, right? Yeah, I'm on the wolves. Okay. Front row. Okay, that wolf is gonna drag the sheep. As far as he can get it, which I think is bad. Now we'll go there. So he's just, he's got the sheep and he's hes just dragging it for all he's worth. Uh, trying, clearly his objective is to get a sheep uh, and take it back to wherever he's going. Wolf strike squad. Um, the One of the wolves <laughs> will uh, attack John, who's prone still. So, what is five? Those eyes checked. No, it's just, it's really dark. I'm kind of rolling in the corner, and it's a dark blue die. Oh, yeah. Uh, John, you will take five damage. Okay. Just five damage. Okay. Uh, the wolf, as the wolf tries to jump on you and, and savage you, uh, you manage to throw your arm in the way and, and take the bite on the arm, mm -hmm. uh, bringing it to you. You now have the initiative, you know. The yep. wolf thinks that, that he's got you right where he wants you, but we all know in reality. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to stand that up. That poor bastard's in trouble. Yep. Stand okay. up. Uh, going to he's flurry. way too close oh. to both and D's. <laughs> yep. <laughs> going to flurry a blizzard. Okay. So first hit is a 22. I'll hit. Second hit is a... 22. Good. That'll also hit. Yep. Alright. So, uh, he needs to do that 18 DC fortitude save or he's stunned one. Uh, he is stunned two. Okay. And, uh, he takes 16 slashing damage. Uh, you hit him so hard in the chest, his shoulders touched. All right, and then he's not dead though. Uh, pressing my advantage, I'm gonna strike him one more time. Okay. Only a plus one, and it's only a twelve, so no. No, no dice. Uh, we will go to Greg. Okie dokie. I'm just gonna start whirling away with my uh, what is it, sickle? At this wolf. Just whirling. Whirling. He's a whirler. Uh, let me look up trip real quick. <clears throat> I'm curious how that works. And that can remove the little snail from this dude, I guess. No longer snailed. And this dude's super stunned. Like, probably kind of stunned. You don't come back from. You don't come back from. Yeah. If I had to guess. I <laughs> heard that one a few times. Uh, it's an athletic yeah. check versus. Oh shit! Just makes it prone. Okay. Yep. Yeah, no, I have shit athletics. Never mind. We'll just attack. Yeah. You knock me down. I'm gonna knock you down. Uh, so 17. you're gonna get up. Oh and right, I have to get up first. Yeah. Yep. So you roll up. Seventeen will hit. Okay. The old. Uh... This is one d four. Yeah. Have that. Three. Three? Three damage. Slashing. He will take three. You have grazed him on the way up. Do another one. Give him the old razzle dazzle. Uh, 18, 19. That'll hit. One more. <laughs> really just whipping that sickle around. 
uh, like you know what you're doing with it. Tusi. All right. So, uh, this pen. Do I like? How do I get over this fence? Do I just hop uh, this fence? It's it's kind of a half-ass fence. Like it just barely sheep sheeps to keep in. You know, keeps the sheep in. Uh, so yeah, you can just hop over the fence as you move. It's pretty pretty easy. Oh no. Hello. How about now? Can you hear me Whoa. now? Yes. Yeah, I got you. Um, okay. You just gotta uh, hop over it. Okay, I get it. Uh, I'm gonna do an acrobatics just for funsies. Oh, here he goes. This dude's falling on his ass. Fuck, Holding no, he's down. not. That is a Cat 13 light. plus a 6, so 19. I'm gonna fucking do a flip over this fence. Uh, so, alright. 5. So, you, you run to 10, the fence 15, uh, on your way over. You uh, you do a like you put your hands on it like it's a balance beam, and you while you're completely vertical, uh, you you kind of wave and wink at Lee on the roof. Uh, and then get over. <laughs> all right, twenty five. Uh, all right, so I ought to have range to homeboy over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got more than enough range. So kind of once I once I land, realizing I'm probably not going to get closer, I'm going to go ahead and just toss out a ray of frost at him uh really gonna try to crit on this one um that's a nine plus eight is a 17 i want to try to save this fucking sheep uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and use a hero point to try to crit oh my see if i can get into something higher this is how it is right here all right that's an 18 again so uh 18 plus 7 25 crit Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. Right. You did the so, job. That was with a different dice. Alright, so crit. He takes double damage and takes a minus 10 foot status penalty to its speed for one round. Um, so, it deals 1d4 plus my spellcasting mod plus one damage. So, we got... That is a 2 plus my spellcasting mod is 4. Uh, so six, seven times two, 14 damage, and he is minus 10 on the, uh, oh, okay. he gets a, oh, no, that, never mind. That's just a crit success versus crit success. So crit success versus crit success. So, yeah, okay. he's minus so, 10. So, yeah, he's, this wolf's looking, like, super shitty. It's, like, turning blue, uh, but it is still just will not release this sheep. Fucking asshole. Uh, that's all I got. I look, I look concerned by the fact that the sheep is still there. Okay, so, uh, whoopuses. This one's gonna that just go hog wild on Greg. That hero point was not worth Uh, it almost was. If you roll, rolled worth the shit. Yeah, I probably needed a little bit better. Greg, than... well, I mean, 18 or 19? 19. 19. Alright, no dice there. Uh, no dice there. Yeah, so, uh, this wolf is dazzled by your sickle movements. <laughs> Snapping at it. Uh, and then as Tusi also is dazzled by the sickle movements, a wolf pops from these trees. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh fuck a duck. <laughs> and uh, comes after him. That's fair though. I, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That doesn't look good. AC? Uh, somewhere in the 15 range. Uh, yeah, okay. You're, six, 16. Uh, Okay, so that one's going to be a crit. Ruh row. Alright, so you're going to take 10, 14, and you're on your butt. And. 10, 14 total, and I'm on my butt? Yeah. 14, right. and you're on your butt. Alright. Um... Yeah, that's back to Lee. D do, I, right. do I get any reflex saves or anything like that? No, man, you're just on your butt. It's got knocked All down. Because right. wolves just jump on you. Gotcha. The whole thing. I don't really understand why they just give you knockdown, but whatever. I have uh, been jumped on. I'm gonna take my double shot at the wolf carrying the sheep. So oh, man. We're all about saving the sheep. Well, it's already dead, but I want the, the skin for a matching belt to go with my ascot, so... <laughs> there I am. He thinks he can get away with that. We've got a 20 total. That'll hit. And a 12 total. That one will miss. Okay. 
So the one that hits, damage is a one. J just one? Just one. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> okay. all right. I don't know what I'll tell you. <laughs> no, nah, it's all right. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take another shot at it. Get another shot. Uh, that's <laughs> just 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 the what? Just, just the one. Well, don't ask. I, I'm waiting. I, is there anything added to that? Like no, no, no. I rolled a one, so I don't know what. Yeah, happens. and ranged. I mean, well, ranged is you know turns out really good without having additional things added to it. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so I can see that. Uh. Yeah, I, I, I got a one, a natural one, so three total. Oof. Yeah. Um, so you have managed to put an arrow in the sheep? Perfect. So, uh, yeah, we got that going for us. He shot uh, at that sheep. All right. What an asshole. I know. Uh, I'm done. I'm not gonna... Call him Sheep Shooter from here on out. Sheep Shooter. <laughs> It's a goddamn keep cheaper. <laughs> Alright, that's good. All that's right. keeper. Uh, I'm right. just checking uh checking stun really quick, John, for it the things that are about to have to happen here. Actions. And then it oh, goes... one for each level of stun. Yeah. And then okay. I think it, it goes away, like Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So he's going to recover and try to bite you. He's gonna shake it and yep. just try once. Yep. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he is still stunned, as it turns out. He just, like, is shaking his head. He can't, he can't shake it. Uh, he's, he's only stunned one. So, row, row. he's, he's not about it. Unfortunately um, for him. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> unfortunately for him. Uh, he's about to... So, oh, this guy, he's at minus 10 feet, is that what you said, Tuzi? Yeah, minus 10 feet. Okay, so he's only got... For one round, it'll be, yeah. Yeah, that's good. God, that sheep has so he's just before. still fucking trying to drag this sheep off. He's determined. Um, he's obviously more... Like you, you can tell this wolf is panicking. Uh, and even though he's scared of the arrows and the, all the spells, he's not letting go of the sheep. What a goddamn bastard. Yeah, you're going to have that on them big jobs. Uh, go ahead, John. Yeah, I'm going to look at this, uh, 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 this uh, wolf in front of me and uh, just beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> uh, first one, but... I'm just going to just gonna beat the fuck out of him. Uh, Nailed it. The 23? For four uh, blows, by the way. That'll hit. So yeah, that'll hit. Fucking and rock then sock only a seven, so I only hit once. Uh, okay. So this first one, it's eight slashing damage and uh, 18 DC port save to be stunned. Uh, you you come up. Uh, you you do one of those little nice kick flip things from the ground where you you pop up. Right. And on the way with your downward momentum, you slash uh the wolf with a uh with a ninja chop and you actually break the skin and break into its skull about two inches uh its ears droop uh droop to either side and it just kind of collapses on your first blow and your follow-up hits nothing but air all right um like assessing the situation uh i'm gonna see that uh are you are you standing greg yeah i didn't standing. even get touched Okay. Too good with that sickle. Yep. I'm, I'm He's going to, so uh, good. I'm going to uh, maneuver. Fucking dazzle him. Over uh, <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20. Do you need an athletics for that? No. No, you're good. Okay. Unless you just want to do something fancy like nah. JC for no reason. Nah. I'll come over here <laughs> and then. Just, just risk, go put that out there. Risk baller on your ass feels like a totally worth it. And I can only uh, just do a standard, just a. Uh, Tiger attack yeah, or whatever. So, yeah, so this will just be a, at plus one. So it's only a five. So that nah, ain't gonna do it. Ain't gonna do it. All right, that's it. Uh, that is the wolf you just murderated. No, never mind. That's not the wolf you just murdered. That's the wolf that's on Tusi. Ruh row. 
what that is. So he's gonna try. Oh, fuck, Toos. <laughs> you, sir, are in uh, a world of hurt right now. So that's... How did, Let's how just did try a third one for kicks. How did he get to attack before me again? Uh, because he readied an action a minute ago. Alright, that's fair. To do a thing. Hey, he's, he's yeah, actually, wolf. that makes sense. He's a special wolfie. Uh, I knew he right. was fat for a reason. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's my favorite chonker. Alright, so you got critted twice. This wolf is just out for fucking blood. Uh, oh, so geez. you're gonna take... Yeah. Ow. You're gonna take I nine. Danger. Uh, you're gonna take twenty-one. All right, so that uh, puts me at negative eleven. <laughs> All right, so the wolf uh, grabs this cat by the scruff of the neck after he's just gored it, and he kind of you can feel him go lifeless, uh, and he starts to try to drag it. He's like got him in his mouth, like he's gonna try to drag him away. <laughs> oh, uh, Greg, yeah. that's not a wolf, buddy. Or a sheep, rather. He doesn't uh, have a skin on. Hmm. I think I have to just get the one in front of me still. So. Yeah, there's there's two on the other guy. If they if the, if the two of them can't deal with the, with the big wolf, then uh, we were in trouble anyways. All right, let's start with the razzle dazzle. Uh, <laughs> that'll be a twenty-one. Hit. I'm just gonna roll the hits, maybe. Yeah, you're fine. Because I, I, I doubt I'm going to kill it with my damage. The next one definitely is missing. And, oh, the final one's a 20. Nat 20. That'll hit. Uh, but it's, oh, it's going to have a negative minus bonus. 10, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, not minus, negative. it's not minus 10. It's a finesse weapon. Uh, or, sorry, agile weapon. It's just minus one. So okay, it's a 19. So that will so two, hit. two hits. Uh, damage. Boom. Three. Boom. Four. Okay. So that one's still looking pretty healthy, but he's pretty dazed by the uh, the flurry of sickle blows, the razzle and the dazzle. The other wolves are uh, the other wolves are definitely in really bad shape, but you can tell they have a single minded purpose to to carry off as much food as possible. Uh, they'll be back to oh no, we've got this wolf in front of Greg. Yeah, look at us go. See, I always skip the bottom. It's not just you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's just whoever. Whoever the bottom is, they're, they're getting skipped. Okay, so that's one hit so far. Uh, just one. Greg, you're taking four damage. Okay. And back to your butt. I don't, again, um, I don't know why they just have straight knockdown, but they do. You know, they're wolfies. Gotta give them something. Lee, it's to you, sir. Oh, well, let's oh. see. I can still get the one that's running away, so let's do it. <laughs> it's business. Oh, that'll hit him on both of them. I got a 16 plus 8 and a 19 plus 5. Uh, those will both hit. All right. Will the 24 crit him? Uh, it will not. Okay, so here's the damage he takes. Uh, he takes eight damage. So, uh, you actually, you actually see the, the arrow, uh, skip off the arrow that you have in the sheep and it, it skips off and manages to sink right in the wolf's, the wolf's eye. It looks like it maybe, maybe would have went over his head if you hadn't, hadn't have intentionally put that sheep arrow there. Uh, so you, you have killed the wolf. Fair. Uh, the the sheep is still locked in its jaws as it slumps forward. All right. Arrows quivering from everywhere. Uh, that will go to. Uh, well, I guess if you're still if you still have actions, Lee, you're up. Oh. If not, we'll go to John. I still have actions. I'm gonna swap my hunted to the uh, the guy that's on. So my my range there, by the way, is I don't have range penalties up to 200 feet. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, ch I, I checked. Okay. I was, okay. I was very yeah. curious. Uh, yeah. I, no, I, I checked that. I checked that the other day when you were slinging some major dick. Yeah. Like, ah, here we go. I can just hit anything. Like, all right, yeah. cool, it's fine. I am. I'm a sniper turret. So. Uh, <laughs> he so made I'm a gonna... character that he can sit and drink a beer, and then roll dice when it comes to his turn. <laughs> Never has to think fun. about where he needs to be. That's fine. Right. <laughs> 
You might be right. You might be right. Um, uh, so I'm going to look down at this wolf that's on Greg. I'm going to hunt it, and I'm going to take a single shot. Uh, I got a nine, so I'm going to say probably not. That will not do it. All right. Uh, then I'll go to John. All right. Uh, I'm going to... Uh... Somebody please shoot this wolf. <laughs> I'm going to Somebody shoot <laughs> this motherfucker. Uh, I'm going to flurry a blizz this wolf. So. Okay. Let's do it. Um, ooh. Uh, first hit is a 26. That will crit. Ooh. Lee, you were looking for a 25, by the uh, way. Second okay. one's a 19. That will also hit. All right. And, uh... Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Let's see here. This will be 2d8. This will be... Uh, John's so... loving it, man. He gets to take yeah. so much damage that all of a sudden he actually gets to punch stuff. Uh, like... This will be 13 damage. And on a crit on my flurry of blows... Is this the first one? Uh, this is just my first Just action. the first attack, or yeah, just the first attack is 13 yeah. damage. Uh, well, okay. it, it's, it's all to, uh... Right, but you have 13 damage across the whole, the whole flurry? Or yeah, across, across the whole the flurry, two? yeah. Across the whole okay. flurry, it's 13. And then, um, let's see, it, yeah, it's a 18 fort save against, uh, yeah, 18 fort save for him. If he gets a crit failure, it, he's stunned three. But, yeah. Okay, so uh, John, seeing well, his companion dragged off, uh, he goes up and he grabs the wolf by the jaws and starts kneeing it uh, just repeatedly, uh, just starts kneeing it in the chest, uh, caving in ribs, uh, and you know he, the the wolf actually uh, the wolf actually goes limp and drops the cat folk on the ground, uh, and then John uh, tosses the wolf away. Uh, victorious brandishes bofa and these <laughs> does nice. like a ginyu stance i don't know um uh i think it, it still has actions to go yeah so i think i will um i'll go ahead and i'm just debating if i should like because you're down right I am you bleeding uh, out, man. Yeah, I am bleeding out. Yep. I'm going to. I will give you a health potion. I'm going to administer a health potion to you. A minor healing. Potion. Okay. You still have two actions. Yeah, I have two. Actions. Okay. Draw. Draw the potion. Feed him the potion. Cool. Yep. yep. So get on the one. That's a what? One d8. Is that what it is? Make uh, it the magic app. Uh, yep. Yep. One d8. I believe you're correct. One d8. Yep. So you can roll that if you want. Or I. All can right. I it. can do that. I'll, I got this good D8 right over yeah. here. By good, I mean I haven't rolled it yet, so we'll see how it goes. That's a two. Hey, that's two hit points. <laughs> he used his good D8. All right, two, so yep. you come up and you are your wounded one. All right. Uh, what does wounded one do for me? Uh, if you go down again, you go to the dying two. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. Instead of dying one. Well. It's so you can't just keep combat medicing somebody. Yeah, because that was a thing that you do in 3-5. Right, yeah. you just put somebody in the front, and then every <laughs> turn you just heal them for one, and the monster whacks them again, then you heal them for one, and the monster whacks them again. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, um, let's see. What's is is there anything? Is anything still alive? There's the one fighting Greg. The one, the one fighting Greg, turn. and it will be Greg's turn. Oh, okay. Well, that's. Ah. I thought I was gonna take an action. Well, actually, no, 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 no. Never mind. You actually, you are up because you move in front of the thing that killed that dropped you. So you are a, you are yeah. up and up and functional. You're just laying down. I'm laying down. Oh, bummer. All right. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take an action, stand up, uh, and then I will take another action to um, use uh, whatever, produce flame, uh, just to throw some fire at this wolf. Oh, oh, that's cocked. Uh, it was yeah. So 14 plus seven, 21. Lee just sent AFK beer. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> In the Discord. I love it. <laughs> Alright. Does 21 do it? Yeah, 21 does it. Okay, so he takes 2 plus um, 5. 
So that's seven, and then maybe one more if Produce <laughs> Flame is part of my. I don't think Produce Flame is part of my blood magic. So I'm pretty sure it's just the seven. All right, I understand why spells are two actions um, because that's pretty good. How much did you say? Seven. I'm pretty sure. I'm just double checking to make sure that. Yeah. So uh, I get. Pl it's either seven or eight. No, oh, no, it's eight. Um, yeah. I get plus one additional damage. So I get plus one damage for any plus one times spell level for any spell, and then I get plus one more for anything that's part of my bloodline skills. Um, and so produce flame is part of my bloodline skills. Probably so not. yeah, he did. Well, he takes he, eight. You singed him pretty good. He produced some fire, uh, and, and singed him. Greg, you're up. Give him the old razzle dazzle. All right, I'll stand up first. The old fickle sickle. Uh, seventeen hits. Okay. Next one is a that's plus three, so fourteen. Uh, Probably that one will miss. Uh, solid one. That one will critically miss. No, 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 damage. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I only get two because I just end up. Oh, that's right. You're on your butt. Uh, he is uh, still just fucking dazzled by this sickle. He's just gonna keep biting after it. Here we go. It's magic. It's apparently it fucking is. Uh, yeah, he missed Greg completely again. Wow. <laughs> it's the sickle, guys. It is the yeah, sickle. Yeah. Uh, uh, that'll be to the top. Lee, you back? I'm back. <laughs> All right. Um, Get it. Yeah, so he's already hunted, so I'm taking the double shot at him. Uh, I got a 23 and a 14. Hit. Miss. Okay. So my hit. Whoops. My hit is a 4. All right. Well, you will, uh, Lee will whiz an arrow through the dazzling sickle display uh, into the wolf, which will uh, kill it. Hooray. Yeah. Go. Hooray. Nobody died. I did take a beating, but uh, yeah, I didn't die. It wasn't me this time, hooray. <laughs> <laughs> Huzzah! 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 <laughs> I... <laughs> no jail can hold me. <laughs> no jail can hold me. <laughs> so fucking funny. Uh, Alright, All right. Oh, cool. These beasts... <laughs> <laughs> uh how what so what time of night is it can i uh can i go back to sleep uh you will not be able to go back to sleep and recover spells tonight uh you can take a full rest in during the middle of the day uh since you guys took some naps and tried to stay up all night uh you'll gotcha. be able to rest middle of the day tomorrow okay oh. well <clears throat> i'd what? like to retrieve arrows how many yeah, you shoot, I'm, Lee? I know you're keeping track. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, twelve. Oh, fuck me. That's so many dice. Jesus. Yeah, that's so many <laughs> arrows. I, I only have two sets of dice out, Lee, so I'm literally rolling everything but my D20s. Uh, All right, Lee. Need some Warhammer dice for Lee. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. 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 Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Nope. nope. Uh, you got probably... three back. I only got three back. Yeah, on fifty percent chance. Oh, all right. Rough. Tough. Rough. Um, uh, we can do some uh, treat wounds, I think, before we rest up. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh God. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna cast two spells on myself for healing. Oh, that works too. He's like, uh, he's like fuck that. So I thought that, this happened yeah. last time. Hey, I, I don't, I don't roll kinda, one. I'm kind of hurt. All right. I'm, I'm at 14 so, points. All right, I'll cast one more on John. Uh, for myself, I got 7 plus 8 times 2, so 7 plus 16 is uh, 23, which puts me back up to full. And then for John... Uh, How much do you have total? 
I have 26. 20, uh, 26. So I'm, I'm, so you should okay. be at 25. You should be one down. I'm one down. I, for some reason, I thought I, oh, I started with 24 today. That's what it is. John, it looks like you get 6 plus 8, so 14. 14, so I'll be at 28. So, John, I'm you can have an elixir, of... and I'll take an elixir myself. Nice. I'm What's out of elixir spells 26? for the day. Yeah. Uh, let's hope for that. Lee, you hurt? No, I didn't take any damage. I'm fine. <laughs> I guess I'll climb down from the, uh, the barn roof. Uh, I'm going to search the big bad wolf. I'm going to go pick up. I'm going to, like, drag these back basically <laughs> the ones way out the here big that... bad wolf Ooh. the one that the one that was the dragging one... the the sheep yeah so you can see there's an arrow in one of its eyes but the other the other eye just it looks like it's scarred over uh like uh you it's know like it maybe had been bitten or clawed yes uh oh or like uh, scarred, but you know nothing else nothing else uh really stands out about it it just kind of looks like the other wolves okay um. Yeah, I'll at least I'm gonna like haul the sheep back. Just I don't know what the farmer <laughs> wants to fucking do with it, and then uh, dinner. I don't know. Do we want that a sounds... do we want like a wolf pelt? Try and get one. Does anybody does anybody know tanning? No. Uh. As it I... turns out. <laughs> as it turns out, I have lore tanning, oh my God. which I said, "What the fuck am I ever gonna do with that?" But here yeah, I here am. You are. Here you are. Ready to tan some stuff. Well, uh, here yeah. I am stealing TVs. All right. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll haul these bodies over here, Rimworld style, and we'll just sort of, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is our this is our stockpile zone right in here. Yeah. I like how right. John's moving his moving his little token around. He's hauling bodies <laughs> in case anything jumps out at him. I've got him trained right. I uh. <laughs> I rolled a 15 on my tanning. I don't know what that means. So you, Lee, as you recall things about tanning, you are fairly certain that uh, you're fairly certain that you could tan up a wolf skin, uh, and they're used for they're typically used for warm weather gear, lining of boots and cloaks, uh, things of that nature. Uh, well, you know, wolf skin hats. You're pretty sure that that these things are something you could use for that you could tan up. And All right, you've got well, a general idea of, of what it should look like once it's cut off. Let's skin these mugs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know. Fuck it. It's going to be a crafting check of some sort. Does anybody have any kind of leather working anything? That's I've a got hard no for me. tanning lore. I mean, <laughs> uh, that's lore. You know all about it, but yeah. can you do it? Well, I've got, I got crafting. <clears throat> I've got 11. Let me look at this whole crafting skill because I'm pretty sure you have to have crafting and then a might have to have the tools for it like i think that's a thing i mean i've got a dagger yeah i think like skinning would be yeah it wouldn't take you much to uh, actually <laughs> skin something the chair just quit. i think i figured it out <laughs> Yeah, I just it just popped uh, and it stopped. I think it's when everybody's talking at once that CPU overloads uh, huh. uh, on the phone because it has this problem. And every time after we play, it my phone tells me it needs to shut down this app because it's overloading the CPU. So, well, okay, Which sorry. Uh, but anyway, uh, did you guys take when like in crafting? Did you not have to pick a like a craft? Yeah, when you took that skill that skill me i did would you i mean i'm blast making because i didn't have a choice oh that makes sense so lee did you oh, pick a craft of, uh, tanning it didn't, it didn't make me i mean for lore it made me take tanning but it didn't when i picked crafting i, didn't I think you're supposed something. to pick a craft oh okay well, i on. think let me look i'm looking at it yeah right now. Um, that's what i pulled up if i have to i'll pick one right now yeah, I was going to say, it turns out yeah, I'm just not sure. I could pick a thing. Well, I mean, so if I have tanning, it makes sense to uh, take leather well, working or something of that nature. Yeah. So. So it doesn't actually, like specify here oh, this is a 
giant fucking page. Holy Jesus. Uh, it's going to be under skills, right? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It says so. Crafting just seems like uh, you just create stuff. Yeah. Period. Yeah, there's a... Uh... I think it's just, it might have maybe like a DC check that you have to do in order, or do you just make it? Um, you can, uh, you can make an item from raw materials. Uh, you need the alchemical crafting skill feat to create alchemical items. You need the magical crafting skill feat to create magic items, and the snare crafting feat to create snares. To craft an item, you must meet the following requirements. Uh, the item is your level or lower. An item that doesn't list a level is level zero. Uh, if the item is ninth level or higher, you must be a master in crafting, 16th FB legendary. You have the formula for the item. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, you have the appropriate set of tools, uh, in many cases a workshop. You have you must supply the raw materials worth at least half the item's price. Spend four days at work, yada yada. So this would be like obtaining raw materials for crafting is what I would say. So okay, you are making the raw sense. materials. So let's just put a DC check on it and call it a day. Uh, and we'll just use the craft skill. And apparently you do not have to take a a crafting, a specific crafting skill. Huh. I don't guess. It doesn't look like it from what I can tell. No. Crafting. It doesn't really make a whole hell of a lot of sense. I would almost say this isn't even a crafting check. I would say it's like survival or nature. Uh, you can use the skill to create, understand, and repair items. Even if you're untrained, you can recall knowledge. Yeah. Oh, here we go. There's So I would say you know how to do it, Lee. Um, okay. So I don't know. Let me look at the nature skill really quick. Because this is something we probably should know. Yeah, we got to learn it. Yeah. Command animals. Mm, that's a hard no. Not nature. Untrained, there's skill training, and then thorough reports, and then trained in crafting. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's just a general crafting check. Uh, for and I just slammed my book shut like I knew what I was doing, and I absolutely don't. Yeah, it's not written anywhere according to no, but I can stuff, see. So it's kind of up wanna, to you whether you want it, it to be crafting or survival, depending on what 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 it is. Well, yeah. since Lee has knowledge of tanning, and he for damn sure knows how to do this, let's yeah. make it a crafting check. And it's going to be a pretty low DC crafting check, Lee, so don't fuck it up. I'm going to need you to make uh, six individual ones. Well, the first one was a nat 20 plus five, so 25. Okay, so Lee, you managed to uh, you managed to skin that wolf so fast that you've skinned two of them before you realized what you were doing. Perfect. The second one was a 21 total. Okay, you're good. And then you got uh, uh, three more. Uh, 20. Yep. Next. 21 total. Yep. 23, yeah. 23 total. I'm, I'm, I'm on fire here. Nice. Yeah, yeah. dude, you've, I think you got, you've got a stack of wolf pelts. Yeah. And then a 14. Yep, you've got a stack of six wolf pelts. In, uh, right. But you notice that... Uh, you notice that two of them are pretty pretty chewed up uh they're kind of burnt the hairs burn off most of them uh the others the others seem like they're in you have four that are in pretty decent shape and then the other two are uh you can just put in like a low quality wolf pelt my bad <laughs> <laughs> wait what was that again let me get it to my page here. uh you can just put four wolf pelts and two low quality wolf pelts they're all burned to shit <laughs> like Whatever the skin seems pretty well it. fined the skin seems okay. pretty well fine but they don't have any real fur on them they're just okay. sort of burned up they're ugly but they'd make a nice belt can. I'm thinking it's probably Greg's Frost Bombs is what did it probably yeah, for sure yeah yeah freezer okay alright all right, well cool at this point, I guess we go uh, we go talk to the uh, the dude. I have a feeling that this might not be the end of the wolves, um, considering they were trying to bring wolves back, and uh, 
the one, they were more concerned about bringing the wolves back to probably the biggest wolf. So we should definitely come back here uh, in a day or so to try to, you know, deal with that. What? It's like it's like late at night, right? It's late yeah. at night. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're, you, I mean, you knock on, you knock on hobble the hobble the farmer's door, and uh, he is a little upset for uh, he's he comes out. And he's kind of upset that you woke him up. Uh, and you, you tell him about uh, the wolves attacked and you stopped them. Uh, he says, so he says, so all my sheep are safe. Well, uh, most of them. We lost he one. says, what do you mean? What do you mean? Most of them. Dottie didn't make it. <laughs> yeah. He says, he says, well, hell, he says, that's only a little bit better than I, than I could have done without you. He says, I guess let's go take a look at the damage. Uh, he wanders out to the barn and he sees he sees the uh, the stack of the stack of wolf bodies uh, and just that have been fucking just stripped of stripped of their skin and and uh, he says so are you just gonna leave this mess for me? He says in hell. He says this sheep's got an arrow wound. What happened? Wolves don't use bows. <laughs> All right, I've, oh, I've had it with oh. this dude. I'm gonna intimidate him uh, into uh, just trying to be like, "Shut the fuck up!" We just killed all these wolves and saved the rest of the sheep. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can actually uh, get him to give us his bed because I'm gonna take a nap in at midday. Oh baby, that's a uh, oh. okay. It looks like a 19 from far away. It's a 13. I'm uh, gonna plus assist the 21. Uh, I want to assist his check by going over and starting to butcher the sheep to make food. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see it. What What does he got to roll for the assist? I, just it's just an assist. Uh, you just roll the same check that you roll the same check that he rolled. Okay. Right, so I rolled a intimidation. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oop. Uh, uh, ooh, a nine. Okay, so well, does that mean he, uh, he, you hear him harumph and cross his arms. He says, "Well, at least one of you got some sense and making use of making use of the bodies, uh, my poor my poor animals." He says, "I guess since you shot it, um, you guys can eat that sheep for dinner and stay in the barn tonight." I guess. What were you gonna do about it? You'll. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of, I kind of cut myself off and 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 say, thank you, sir, and just leave because like this guy. Yes. Yeah, he uh he wanders back into the house and you hear him slam the door, grumbling the whole way. Uh, I guess that's the... <laughs> like you know, what? I what's mean, that, John? Can, can you eat wolves? Like, can you eat a wolf? Yeah, why not? You want to give me a nature check? <laughs> <laughs> Recall knowledge, nature? Uh, dirty 20. Okay. Uh, so, John, you are damn sure that wolf is edible. All right. If, you know, not like as it is, you have to cook it first, but yeah. Well, let's have some, <laughs> some mutton and dog stew. Mutton oh, and yeah. dog stew. Oh, boy. <laughs> Um, so after, after all the checks that you guys have made on, on, you know, working on these wolves and John, knowing John knows pretty well that you can eat wolves and knows what parts, um, you managed to, <laughs> out of these wolves, they're, they're actually, they're, they're fairly lean, um, for as many sheep as have been, they've been harvesting. Uh, but you get, um, let's call it, uh, three days of rations each out of the five wolf bodies. Okay. They are perishable. Uh, we'll say they, we'll say they'll last probably, you think the meat will last probably for, uh, a couple days, at least, at least probably three or four. Like that's three in total, okay. not three each, right? Three each. I oh, mean, wolves each? are pretty nice. good size. Okay. All right. Nice. I mean, how much are you eating in a day, John? How, how much does it take to keep both of these running? <laughs> Quite a bit. <laughs> You'd be shocked. You'd be shocked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. 
anything else for you uh, bed down in the barn or are you going to bed down in the barn I'm going to bed um, down in the barn probably like we can't can we make it back to town the rest of the day uh, you can travel close. through the night to make it back to town yeah you're, you're fairly close <sighs> trying to uh, so I'm worried that if we bed down well we're not going to have a chance to ready spells, so if we if we get caught here uh, in another wolf fight situation, I'm going to be spellless. Um, so we can either just leave this fucking farmer here, travel back uh, to town in the middle of the night. We've got a pretty clear shot at this point, uh, right? Like we're not we're not yeah, putting ourselves yeah. too you, far uh, in danger or anything. If like you that. guys if you guys actually rest in the barn or make it back to town, um, you can. And, and you get a full uninter uninterrupted eight hours. Um, you guys would wake up probably midday, 10 or 11, probably. Uh, and you could prepare spells. After all the arguing and the fighting, I think you can could, you could probably make, a, make eight hours of rest since you didn't sleep last night. Right. So either or, you could, you could make it back to town in an hour, an hour or two. The farm's not super far. Yeah, I'm, I'm down to try to make it back to town. I think I'd rather be stuck in town than sleep in a uh, barn. Stuck out, he, yeah, yeah, sleep in a barn, stuck out here with no spells in in case that there was wolves that show up in the middle of the night again. That's fair. Hard agree. Yeah. Okie dokie, Din. We get now. All right. Okay. So on your way back to town. Um, after just as you're arriving in town, uh, you know a few hours, a few hours have passed uh, as you kind of fumbled your way out to the the little worn road in the dark, and uh, you hear a lone howl uh, that seems uh, seems questioning, like a questioning howl uh, from the southeast. Like an owl. Like a owl. Like a woo, Yep. Yeah, I mean, it almost like, has a question mark on the end. So he's coming coming from the uh, from the where the round where the barn is. Uh, nope, from the southeast from town. It'd be, oh, okay. Uh, so in twenty three, probably yeah, out in the woods there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that makes okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. Yep. Did you arrive in town? Uh, it's at this point it's probably three thirty four in the morning. Uh, so you guys can stumble in and pass out, no problems. Yeah, that's the plan. That's what I do. Stumble in, pass out, and uh, get after it the next day, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I think we can probably do uh, some morning wake-up stuff. Any prep work you guys need to do before you take off, and then that'd probably be a good place to stop for a night so we can just take off running next session. Yeah. Yeah. That makes Sounds sense. good. Refresh my crafts. All right. So, yeah, and wake up in the morning. Um, all right. Did we get experience for that? I don't, I don't remember. Oh, I didn't tell you what you got, but you sure did. Let me see, because it changes for every fucking level. And the wolves are no longer the same thing as they were earlier. We fucked up Fido. What's up, Fido? Uh, you guy. guys got, um, uh, you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna get 120 experience. Okay. I gotta set 420. 440? 440. 440. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I can't do math. That's why, that's why we say it out loud. Yep. <laughs> Verify. <clears throat> All right. Well, um, I guess once we're once we're in town, uh, there's not much. So let's see. We we finished the well. We didn't finish the missing sheep quest notes, but we got a pretty good idea of what's going on. Yeah. Uh, big wolf in the woods. Uh, in L twenty three or whatever that is. I don't have my map in front of me yet. Uh, K twenty three. K twenty three. Yeah. Um, how much are, how much do rations cost? Like, field rations? That's a great question. I think it was like... Yeah. It's not a whole lot. No, it's not a lot. Ration. One week. It is. Four 
for silver pieces. For how much? One week of rations. One one week of rations is four silver pieces? Yes. Dang. That's not bad at all. No. So we buy uh, a few weeks. If by one week of rations, you're talking... Well, I guess that's still just that's seven days, so yeah. All right. Cool. Yep. You probably can't carry more than more than about a a couple weeks on you before you start getting because there's a uh, there's a bulk on those, bulk, right? Yeah. It's just bulk as uh, L. Yeah. So yeah, it's ten, of, ten, L. ten of them is one. Yeah, ten L is one. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I think a week's worth of food's kind of a uh, heavy. Well, but if it's what like, do I know? If it's like bulk? jerky and shit, you know what I mean? Like one bulk is like ten pounds too. Like it's hefty. Um, yeah, but. I guess I'll get two Don't weeks know. worth of rations, so that puts me down at. Uh, what would that be? Me and Gordon fucking Ramsey are both morons. <laughs> two. <laughs> how uh, how many silver to a gold again? Uh, it's ten. Ten, yeah. ten, ten. silver to a gold. Ten and ten. Yeah. So now I have. Yeah, I think uh, I'll uh, do the same. Do that. Uh, now I'm now I'm eating. <laughs> John can eat for days. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the same thing too. I've got three weeks worth of rations at this point. I have rations. Oh yeah, I guess Onyx is at uh, six days, right? Yeah. I've got fifteen days of laps and Onyx will be at five. Okay, okay. That's right. what I've got. Because you spent another yeah. day at the town. Oh that's right. Sorry. Or at the farm. Yep. Alright, so I will grab uh So do we yep. do we get a full night's sleep at some point to get the the healing? Yeah. Yep, yep, you just woke up, and you're milling around town. I'm assuming you're going to the merchant and haggling for some rations, or maybe to uh, to Drusna, the chef. That should be at 20. Yeah. Um, is there any kind of uh, leather worker in town? I mean, I have um, crafting, like generic, so we just need somewhere to craft. There is a There is a merchant that may be interested in those furs. There yeah. is a... Uh, there, there is a blacksmith that could potentially, uh, that, you know, he, you know, he uses leather parts, so he's got to get them from somewhere or, uh, or prepare them himself. Does anybody have high charisma and want to try to sell the fur to the merchant? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I can. If, you, if that's what you want me to do, I can certainly Oh, man, that. sorry, I'm stopping up. I don't know what else we're going to do with it, right? Yeah. Right, it's good. Tanning, point. tanning takes four days. And I don't suspect we're gonna hang around town for four days, so might as well get rid of them before they're. I mean, gross. you always have the option to hang around town and do downtime things. Yeah, that's true. It's yeah. a thing you can I, do. I, You're not restrained, but I mean, you have to you have to think about the time constraints of your quests and things that you're on. But at, at any point, you guys are are cool to just be like, hey, we're gonna hang out and do stuff. Yeah, part of the reason I haven't suggested that is because I haven't actually read the downtime section, so I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing for downtime. But I mean, I, if you don't I, have like a, a specific crafting thing to do, it's pretty much just make money or make food. <laughs> there's not yeah. really a whole lot to it, unless there's That's something fair. specific extra that Jared wants to add, or we can inquire about it for this town. I'll say not yet, but I'm open to some suggestions. Uh, you know, world building wise, the town's pretty pretty lean. But uh, there's probably ways to fix that, right? You know, right. there's probably there's th projects that you could probably undertake to help. Yeah, like I feel like I would like try and you know shore up the defenses a bit more. Basically, like just make the you know better walls, whatever else. Use my warfare to like more to like you know. I'm sure we could uh, convince the townsfolk to build some things if we need like a specific type of. Yeah, you never know. You get some good rapport with the mayor, you may be, you may be all right. Yeah, so I, I guess I'll try to sell those things. What do I gotta give? What kind of check do I gotta give you? I oh, this dice oh fuck yet. off! I don't even know that you need a check. I'm yeah. like trying to haggle for better prices. I'm trying to haggle for the best prices. All right, Lee, where are you looking? I'm sure you've seen something. Oh no, I I haven't looked at wolf pelt sales. I'm looking at how to buy arrows. So. Um... Uh, I mean, make an impression for diplomacy, sale. maybe. Uh, it'd probably be a diplomacy if I had to guess. Otherwise, maybe society even might have something. Well, uh, no, I, I rolled a one. 
So, oh, no. Oh, uh, boy. Well, it turns uh, out Tusi might get fleeced, as it turns out. <laughs> no pun intended. None, ta none taken. So, uh, let's go ahead and say that uh, the the merchant tells you that the uh, that he could probably make bulk leather straps out of the two shitty pelts. Uh, and, you know, he, he looks at the other pelts, and they're in decent shape. He says, uh... He says he could probably give you a he could probably give you a single gold piece for the lot. And you think I'll it's a phenomenal it. price. I will take it. So Alright. So I added I added a gold piece to my thing and I'm kinda of strolling back in and I'm not gonna tell anybody how much money we made, but just that we <laughs> made a lot of money. Sounds right. <laughs> I feel like this is something Lee would ask about, but I, I can be wrong. <laughs> I'm just, just going to give him a don't worry about it. Uh, I, I'm i also going to buy arrows. So they're, okay. according to the book, one silver gets me 10 arrows. So I bought yep. 20 arrows. Yep, that's a reasonable amount to carry. Seems good enough. Uh, yeah, they've got arrows in, in plenty of supply. You're good to buy that those kind of things. Um... <laughs> I think I'll just go and talk to the mayor and let him know, like, what all we've done over the last few days, you know, take down the three camps and helped out with the wolves that we suspect that uh, you know. He, he says, he says, thank God you stopped by. Hobble came to town bitching yesterday uh, that about no good adventures, uh, about no good adventures, always meeting late. Yeah, he seemed uh, a little guy uh, can eat it salty. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's, uh, that he's he's a little bit surly but uh all in all all in all he's a good man and he, he and his sheep are all that's really going to keep us clothed unless you know how to how to make clothes from uh from tree bark and from tree bark and leaves so we'll uh we'll put up with the uh we'll put up with him for now and, and have to there. like it So yeah, he's so far. He says you know it's been pretty quiet on the goblin front. He's still got the guards doing, he's still got the guards doing double watches. But he says with all the, he says with these camps, with these uh, immediate camps in the immediate area taken care of, he's he's probably going to give him, uh, take him back to a standard watch, uh, just uh, from for morale. He says I don't have trained soldiers. I've got, you know, I've got villagers and villagers and carpenters and that have volunteered for militia work right um, I know that makes sense I guess I would know a bit about just general training right like guard training I mean you were at the uh, you were trained at the monastery of fill in the blank here uh, Monad yeah. Monad uh, why wasn't the monastery a gonad no it's Monad <laughs> like you <laughs> Sorry. Trick there, John. <laughs> As a missed opportunity. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So you've got some some general, you know, you know, some stretches, some some forms. You know, you're not you're yeah. not proficient with a whole lot of like standard guards, like militia weaponry, but you could probably get the job done. You've, you've seen it. You've read a few things um, in a book. I guess it's just like I'll look back to. gonna just like you know because i know we have that wolf we can go take care of or well yeah wolf camp or whatever wolf pack wolf pack yeah because i don't think yeah the wolf I mean, problem is technically done but no i would i would say we still got to deal with that jerk face but uh yeah i mean i'm down to hang out for a bit uh, well i i say we try to deal with the wolf at the earliest possible convenience. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how we yeah. want to do that if we want to head out there and try to kill it once in the forest, but then afterwards we can come back and spend some time doing downtime stuff, reinforcing the camp and uh and Bannon, them up Bannon to speed. also mentions that uh he, he as you he kinda hears you talking about your plans. He says he says he does advise that you you try to keep Hobble happy and keep his uh keep his sheep and land safe because the fishermen have been even have been more and more leery uh, to go out into the lakes and some of the best spots on the the best spot 
some of the best fishing spots to the north of the lake. Uh, they've been bringing in less and less. They've been bringing in less and less catch uh, over the last couple days. They can't get anything right. Well, yeah. So, so keep him happy. I think we take care of this wolf problem, and then maybe yeah, we can take like a few days just to like, you know, do what we need to do in town here. Maybe help him out. You know, get some stuff built up. Right. Yeah, That's at that least what sense. I think. Yeah. So. <clears throat> no, I agree. Right. Cool. Sure. Anybody have any other other things? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I don't. Clean up all your shit on the spreadsheets. Uh. And other than that, I don't have anything else. Yeah. Yeah, alright. So my total non-perishables, I got What happens with our perishable? Is we have we haven't uh haven't worried about that yet. Not yet. Um so okay. you shouldn't have had John where you were subtracting out of your perishable food, weren't you? Yeah, that's what I, I do first. I go out my perishable and then my Okay, so you should, you've got like one, you've got like one ration that you probably should eat today, and then... Yeah, so I'll be at three. I don't know if you'll get through all that before it goes bad. It'd be a tough yeah, one, just random right. wolf, wolf meat. You said I got, what, two or three days on it? Yeah, Lee, or uh, Greg, you've got, I think you've got too much stuff in your perishable. We're gonna, any kind of trail rations, we're gonna say are pretty well non-perishable. They're dried and salted. Yep, uh, it was backwards. <laughs> Yeah, you're good. <laughs> um, Read the column wrong. I mean, I'm just thinking. I don't know. I think what I'll do. You do is know. I'll... You do know some other people who eat. Well, yeah, that's what out. I was gonna say. I might just go bring it to uh, the cook. There you uh, go. Yeah, you do that. I'm not going anywhere near her. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Well, I, I'll go and give. I'll eat my one out of here, and then I'll give the other three to. Uh, we're Gr keeping our distance from the cook. Grishna? Is that her name? <laughs> Drizna. 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 Okay. Yeah, I'll yeah. give her the three. Yeah. She, uh, she thanks you heartily and she says, oh, she's some wolf meat. Yeah. She says, I can put this in today's stew and uh, she says, and, you know, I can I can compensate you with some uh, something that'll hold up a little bit better on the road. Oh. Um, sure. Basically, she can, she'll trade you, she'll trade you three for one. Oh, sure. Yeah, that works. Just if you've got extra stuff, she'll she'll uh, trade you out for something you can hold on to for a while. Yeah, cool. Dope. And she uh, seems to like you. You might uh, you might have a little bigger helping of stew next time. You never know. Oh, she does God. ask you about your uh, she does ask you about your feline friend. Oh, him? So she hasn't seen him around for the the last week. Hopefully he isn't uh, he isn't napping in a tree somewhere. Yeah, you know how cats are. Very aloof. They come around whenever they want to come around. You know. She says, hopefully the hopefully the smells of this extra meat she's adding to the adding to the pot will bring him bring him around for her to uh, for her to look at some more. Yeah, between you and me, he talks about how he loves your cooking. <laughs> Her eyes, her eyes sparkle, and and uh, she says, "Well, make make sure to make sure to be back for breakfast tomorrow. I'm planning something special." All right, I'll let him know. Rough. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I des I deserve that, I guess. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, All right. We're good. God, I'm, I'm looking at the total rations. You guys have 82 days worth of food. <laughs> what do you guys plan to do? Look, I don't look, know how just, far away that is. It's only 20 between all of us, yeah. right? So. Yeah. That's not know. the worst. Good few weeks of food. Yeah. It is absolutely when multiple people talk at the same time. Uh, yeah. It's like when everybody's trying to say something, it's just like, nah, I'm not doing it. I believe that. Having none of it. Oh man. Well. Yep. So like I said, I'm I'm think I'm good, guys. Nice. 
Um, Good. Uh, is everybody Thursday. good for next Thursday? Mm-hmm. I yep. am good. Yep. Uh, yeah. Okay. All, all back to normal. Um, yeah, I'm we'll, probably we'll going to be unable to do Sundays for a little bit. Uh, I know we talked about trying to get in once a month, but uh, it might be till March before I can get a Sunday in. Uh, okay. Maybe late. Yeah. Maybe late Feb. Uh, but it kind of just depends. It's so, all good. We'll figure it out. Should still be good. We'll hit them. Yeah, hit them as we hit them. And... Yeah go from here i know it's kind of like uh you know weekly encounters basically at this point but yeah. i think we're moving story yeah it's going yeah no we're, we're definitely yeah. making progress or i mean we're knocking out stuff on our on our to initial list. yeah yeah <laughs> our initial questing uh our log stuff, so yeah where why these fishermen are being weird i haven't quite figured that one out yet but it'll come with time you say it's yeah, fishing. don't actually. I'm that's sure. I think these goblins will give us some pretty good insight because they've got some weird stuff. The goblins, a couple of weird things have been going on with those goblins between the stone and the fact that all their shit's kind of in the mountains. I don't trust them. Yeah, I'm just. I don't about trust the them. Fervor of those wolves. They were just real hungry. <laughs> you think they? Yeah. You know. I really, really wish that. That TC would have had the uh, taken one of the cloaks, so we could have had a cat in sheep's clothing. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't get it, so oh well. We had a it's all right. Had a monk in I sheep's still, clothing. And a, yeah. I still died. Fine. That you did sprinting still, after a wolf still, like that. I still ate shit. Well, of course, that's just, well, that's you, the kind of character that I am. I love it. You knew one disappeared. I love it. Makes me happy. I honestly didn't think twice about it. I thought he ran away. <laughs> <laughs> In my head, I'm thinking, oh, what a bitch wolf. <laughs> he showed you. <laughs> Jokes on me. So, so speaking of that, you're going to kick out of this, TC, because you like Lord of the Rings stuff. I saw one uh, today that it was, uh, somebody said, Do you, does anybody like, did anybody realize that Gimli wasn't tempted by the ring at all? He just, you know, as soon as Elrond said, oh, it's the most powerful, you know, the most powerful artifact in in Middle Earth, and he just walks up and, and it needs to be destroyed. He walks up and tries to cut it in half with his axe. Yeah. And somebody else said, uh, somebody else posted posted below it. It says the one, the one ring. Uh, yeah, I can grant you any one desire, Gimli. I don't want to look like a bitch in front of all these elves. <laughs> good. That's pretty good. Uh. Oh shit! All right, that's off to bed for me, folks. I'll yep, catch me you too. Later. We'll catch you guys. Uh, catch you guys next Thursday. Yeah, next Thursday feels like a year from now. It yeah. it totally does yeah. because <laughs> it's Tuesday and it's it's, it's weird. Right. Yeah, yeah. It is what All it right. is. See you, everybody. See y'all, guys. See later. Ya.